Now at 6 from your local election headquarters, Rhode Island leaders will appeal a judge's ruling that shut down the state's highway truck tolls last month. Governor Dan McKee confirmed the plan to appeal in our 12 News gubernatorial debate last night. New tonight, we're asking questions about what that appeal might look like. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado tells us what she's learned from the Attorney General. State leaders have insisted they are not planning to move towards tolls for passenger cars, but they do plan to fight the judge's ruling that tolling only tractor trailer trucks is discriminatory. We'll appeal. Governor Dan McKee revealing the plan to appeal the truck toll decision during Tuesday night's debate. So you think the truck tolls were constitutional in the end? Yes, I think that uh, it's. Uh we're going, to re we're going to appeal. Okay. We met with the Attorney General, the Senate President, uh, you know, actually uh, governing uh, along with the Speaker. We'll be appealing. Republican challenger Ashley Kalis responding if she was governor, she wouldn't fight the case. We know that the law was unconstitutional and bad law. So instead of not doing it, we went ahead and we spent $8 million on a politically connected law firm to fight that appeal, which we lost. And it is unconstitutional. A federal judge ruled last month the truck tolls violated the U.S. Constitution's Commerce Clause because only tractor trailers were being tolled and not other vehicles. Attorney General Peter Nerona, who will file the appeal for the state, says that Commerce Clause is not settled law. Given that the program here is unique, given that there are arguments, um, I think good ones, as to why this uh, tolling system uh, uh, should be upheld. Uh, certainly it, it is one where if the, if the policymakers believe in the policy, uh, then it is one that, that in my view, uh, there's a credible appeal to be had and, and then we should bring it. Nerona declined to say what argument he'll make in the appeal to get the tolls turned back on. The state's initial argument under former Governor Gina Raimondo was that the trucks do the most damage to the roads. Since the first toll gantry went up in 2018, the state has collected about $100 million in revenue. Taxpayers have paid $8.4 million in legal fees to fight the case. The president of the Rhode Island Trucking Association declined to comment on the appeal. The notice of appeal has not actually been filed with the court yet, but Nerona says it will be by the deadline late next week. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News. Next week, your local election headquarters brings you another debate. Congressional District 2 candidates Seth Magaziner and Alan Fung will face off at PPAC. You can watch it live Tuesday, October 18th at 7 on WPRI 12 or on WPRI.com. And there are still seats available to see the debate in person. You can sign up for tickets on our website, WPRI.com.